bring to you the story of the Mock family from Ohio, who are sharing their journey with Alzheimer's so that other families battling this disease might find peace, knowledge, and comfort. When I was 11 and 12, I would spend two or three weeks with my grandma. We did the family tree, and this was before the internet, so she had to tell me all the stories about the people, and I would hand write them down, and so we still have that family tree book of what she would tell me. And she was always talking about stories about people and their lives, and so it transitioned from her, you know, always, oh, what's going on in your life, to I was more of the one who had to take the lead and tell her about my life or tell or ask her about what she's watching on TV or try to be there for her. And then as it progressed, it just became where it was okay just to talk about the same thing over and over and over again. I think with people with dementia and Alzheimer's, you have to have a gray area. It's just changing your whole way of thinking. You're moving into their world. They don't respond like normal people do at this point in their lives. So you have to repeat things over and over again to them. And five minutes later, they're going to ask you the same question. Moving into their world, you just have to change how you think. You, you know, you have to say, maybe we'll just sit and look at, a, at an album or watch a TV show. So in the last few weeks of her life, my we brought in a book and we were looking at her old pictures and she had this ad that she posed for when she was, I think, 16 or something and looking at these memories. She was uh, very much a stuff person. She had a lot of stuff. So the stuff is slowly getting divided among family members so they'll have all those memories. And not only her children, but her grandchildren and their children. And, and that's the way it should be. It should be handed down and spread out and let everybody enjoy it. I now realize that every moment is precious. Don't